Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Schultz, I don't know how you did this. How have you done this? Germany, how have you done this? What's going on guys? It is JJ here back with another international football video for the Euro 2020 qualifiers and my goodness, this game just ended. The Netherlands versus Germany. What a game. What a game, guys. This is this was arguably one of the best international game, or best games are the best contest that we've had this international break these two have a historic rivalry dating back well beyond the entirety of germany itself when it was west germany east germany versus the netherlands uh ronald kuman going against yogi low and oh this game god it was so it was a game of two halves and then a game of one exclamation point and so without further ado let's get into some of the highlights from the netherlands versus germany game while my heart is still beating while it's still fresh in my memory we, we need to get back into this so without further ado let's get into the video as well guys you can find the original video just down in the description below Schultz, oh, Leroy Sané, Leroy Sané, just getting us right off to the bat. I just, I, I just want to say that I don't know who Schultz is. I know he's, he's a left back. I believe he plays in the Bundesliga. He was, him and, and what is it, Dumfries, their, their matchup against each other all game was absolutely wonderful to watch. And especially for being two nobodies of fullbacks, they, they arguably had some of the most entertaining parts of this contest. Leroy Sané included was wonderful when he would get the ball. That, that was, you know, second half, it wasn't so hot. How, how Germany did this is just unreal to me. Yeah, Babel. Ba Babel. Ryan Babel. I, I understand why he got subbed off, uh, but my goodness, yeah, here's a second chance. You gotta score that, bro. You gotta put that in the net. Put it in the net. Put it in the net. You're six feet away from Neuer. Yeah, I don't know what Rudiger was doing here. Dumfries should have taken a better shot. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Best defender in the world, mate. The best defender in the world. Getting absolutely done by Serge Gnabry. Now, I don't have an agenda against Virgil van Dijk. I think he's a fan. He, he, is, he is top three in world defenders right now. But, you know, you got to poke holes at the Superman image sometimes because uh, he was scared of Nabry. He was very scared. I, I wonder if they're going to show it later in the game as well in these highlights. Uh, Van, Dyke, Van Dyke was getting turned circles around by Serge Nabry. And it, those, those quick feet were, were scaring Van Dyke when he was alone. I don't think he got dribbled past, but he definitely got scored on. So, yeah. Great save by Jasper Solisson. I'll, I'll give it to Van Dyke. Him and him and Delict in the second half were, were absolutely wonderful. They were wonderful. And here's the first good. There's Delict getting his first international goal. Memphis Depay also helping him out by getting an assist. Memphis, Memphis Depay is an absolute baller. He is a baller. I don't understand why he's on Olympic Lyon. A major club has to buy him this summer. And I'm hoping that it's Chelsea because he was destroying everyone in this game. When he got involved on the ball, there was no stopping him. Like, oh. And he had two goals, two assists against Belarus as well. The guy is a monster. He is so good. This is a good idea. The, the, this was also a great idea. I'm shocked when Yaldum couldn't get to that. I know he was barely off sides, but... And then here's the second goal. The bye. How do you find the space? How do you find the space to score that? When Yaldum, when Yaldum was a baller as well. Guys, 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 guys. I know I said it was a game of two halves. Literally, you can go from one half naming every single player on this German team being absolute ballers. That includes Goretzka, Navri, Sané, Rudiger, not so much Neuer, but... And then the second half, you can... 
everyone in this Netherlands team just goes in. When Yaldum, Memphis Depay, Dumfries even getting in on the action. Van Dijk, the lead, De Jong. Ah, oh. and then, uh, and and the Netherlands kept up this pressure. They kept it up the entire second half. They were on Germany's neck. They they wanted the third goal so bad. Rudiger, I don't know what you were doing to defend there, mate, but, you know. Uh, show the celebration. Show the celebration. Oh, they didn't show the celebration. Everyone getting in on that. Uh, uh, if you guys see the thumbnail and it's that, I, I don't apologize because that celebration is amazing. And it fits with Memphis Depay's character. Uh, but then... But this is what I'm talking about. Nagri turning circles around Van Dyke. Van, like he literally, he's just like he's frozen. He's frozen in in place because Nagri has that speed. Then the two substitutes. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Schultz, I don't know how you did this. How have you done this, Germany? How have you done this? Oh wow. Mad props to the timely substitutions by uh, Joachim Lowe by getting in Gundogan and Royce who linked up the entire triangle attack to score them the final goal. They were the only two substitutes in for Germany during this contest and both of them had a part to play in the final goal which I thought was amazing. I thought he should have brought Marco Royce on about 20 minutes earlier than that uh, and I did not think it should have been for Serge Gnabry but... Germany, Germany find a way, guys. Germany find a way. They get a win over the Netherlands in Amsterdam. Uh, this was an amazing game. My heart is still going. It's still just beating in my chest so fast because I just... It, oh. I hope we see more games like this tomorrow and on Super Tuesday. There, there are a huge slate of games uh, that take place Tuesday, and I'll try to stretch them out over on the channel. Uh, that way, you guys can just you know get some fresh, fresh stuff just each and every day, rather than 11 videos on one day, which would just be absolute. I could never do that. I could never do that to you guys. But yeah, let me know you guys' thoughts on the Netherlands versus Germany contest. This was arguably. I'll argue with anyone that this has been the game of the international break so far. I hope we see more games like it, uh, but be sure to check out the channel to get more of the reactions from today's games. You might see a Hungry Croatia on the channel. You might see a Poland Latvia on the channel. There are there are a ton more uh, coming up. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned on the channel. And, and please let me know your thoughts on this game. If you're a fan of the Netherlands, of the Orange crew, uh, let me know you guys' thoughts. Because I know you guys are coming back in the second half. If you're a fan, a fan of Germany, you guys got away with one. You guys got away with one. But, but that's what Germany do best. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And peace.